Joe has it now! Gig, Gardar, Glamis, all. Oh, the weird women promised, and I fear thou placed most foully for it. Yet it was said it should not stand in thy posterity, but that myself should be the root and father of many kings. There come truth for them, as upon thee, Macbeth, their speeches shine. Why by varieties on thee made good? May they not be my oracles as well, and set me up in hope? But hush, no more. Here's our chief guest. If he had been forgotten, it had been as a gap in our great feast, and all thing unbecoming. Tonight we hold a solemn supper, sir, and I will I'll request your presence. Let your highness command me, to which my duties are most insidolable, <laughs> tie forever knit. Ride you this afternoon? Aye, my good lord. We should have also desired your good advice, which still hath been both grave and prosperous. In this day counsel, but we'll take tomorrow. As far you ride? As far, my lord, as will fill up the time. Twixt this supper, go not my horse the better. I must become a borrower of the night. For dark hour or twain. Fail not our feast. My lord, I will not. We here our bloody cousins are bestowed in England and in Ireland, not confessing. Their cruel particle filling their hearers with strange invention, but of that tomorrow. When there withal we shall have cause of state craving us jointly. Hi, you to horse, I do till you return at night. Go flaunt, goes flaunts at you. Aye, my good lord, our time does call upon us. I wish your horse is swift and sure of foot. And so I do command you to their backs. Farewell. Let every man be master of his time. Till seven at night, to make society the sweeter welcome, We'll keep, we will keep ourselves till supper time alone. While then, God be with you. Sirrah, a word with you? Attend? Those men, our pleasure? They are, my sir, without the palace gate. Bring them before us. To be thus is nothing but to be safely thus. Our fears in Banquo sticks deep, and in his royalty of nature reigns that which would be feared. Tis much he dares, and to that dauntless temper of his mind, he hath a wisdom that doth guide his valor to act in safety. There is nothing but he whose being I do fear, and under him my genius is rebuked. As it said, Mark, Antony's was by Caesar. He, he chid the sisters when first they put the name of king upon me, and, but, and bade them speak to him. Then prophet like, they hailed him father to a line of kings. Upon my head they placed a fruitless crown, and put a barren scepter in my gripe. Thence to be wrenched with an unlineal hand, no son of mine succeeding. If it be so, for Banquo's issue have I filled my mind, for them the gracious Duncan have I murdered. Put rancors in the vessel of my place, and my peace, only for them and mine eternal jewel, given to the common enemy of man, to make them kings, the seed of Banquo kings. Rather than so, come fate into the list and champion me to the utterance. Who's there? Now go to the door and stay there till we call. Was it not yesterday we spoke? It, it was, was, so, so please, please your highness. highness. Well then now, have you considered of my speeches? Know that it was he in times past which held you so under fortune, which you thought had been our innocent self. This I made good to you in our last conference, passed in probation with you. How you were born in hand, how cross the instruments, who wrought with them, and all these things that might to half a soul and to a notion, crazed, say, thus dead Banquo.
You made it known to us. I did so. And went further, which is now, our point of second meeting. Do you find your patience so predominant in your nature that you can let this go? Are you so gospeled to pray for this good man and for his issue? Whose heavy hand hath bowed you to the grave and beggared yours forever? We are men, my liege. Aye, in the catalog ye go for men. As hounds and greyhounds, mongrels, spaniels, curs, shaws, water rugs, and demi wolves are kept. All by the name of dogs, the valued file dis distinguishes the swift, the slow, the subtle, the housekeeper, the hunter. Every one according to the gift which bounteous nature hath in him closed, whereby he does receive particular addition from the bill that writes them all alike. And so of men, now if you have a station in the file, not at the worst rank of manhood, say it. And I will put the business in your bo bosoms, whose execution takes your enemy off, grapples you to the heart, and love of us, who wear our health, but sickly in his life, which in his death were perfect. I am one, my liege, whom the vile blows and buffets of the world. hath so incensed that I am reckless what I do spite the world. And I another so weary with disasters, tugged with fortune, that I would set my life on any chance to mend it or rid of it. Both of you know Banquo is your enemy. True, my lord. So is he mine, and he is such bloody distance that every minute of his being thrust against my nears of life and know I could, with bare face power, sweep him from my sight, and bid of all my avouch it, yet I must not, for certain friends that are both of his and mine. Who loves, I may not drop, uh, but wail his fall, who I myself struck down, and thence it is that I to your assistance do make love. Masking the business from the common eye, for sundry weighty reasons. We shall, my lord, perform what you command us, though our lives. Your spirits shine through you. Within this hour at most, I will advise you where to plant yourselves. Acquaint you with the perfect spy of the time, the moment on, for it must be done tonight. And something from the palace always thought that I require a clearness, and with him, to, to leave no rubs nor botches in the work, Flents, his son, that keeps him company, whose absence is no less material to me, than his father's must embrace the fate of that dark hour. Resolve yourselves apart, I'll come to you a nun. We, we are, are resolved, resolved, my lord. I'll call upon you straight, abide within. It is concluded, Banquo, thy soul's flight, if it find heaven, must find it out tonight. Macbeth is king of the drug ring now. I should stand by him. But he he isn't fertile. <laughs> All my sons will be the kings. Hey, look, it's the best plug. What up? What up, B? What up, V? I got I, I re-up. Hey. I re-up. Hey, oh, hey. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Let me see that. Alright, cool. Here you go. Banquo, you wanna come grub? I can't. I gotta go back home, visit the honey. I don't know. I'm about to grab a burrito, bro. Are you sure? I'm about to be bomb. I can't. I'm what sorry. about later tonight? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Cool. See you hey. then, bro. Deuce, bro. <laughs> Out. Trash. That is trash. <laughs> trash. Hey, Banquo, what up? I thought we were chilling tonight, bro. I, I can't. I got plans. What, what I got... happened? Like, why? I, I'm sorry. I just can't. All right, it's fine, bro. Is Flans going with you? Yeah, you know, time's now, bro. All right. All right, that's chill, bro. See you later. Do you want to maybe do something later? Yeah, later tonight, like, you know, I'd be down, meet up, yeah, you for know? Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have a good one, bro. I'll see you later. Safe travels. Boys. Yes, sir. 
I got a job for you boys. You think you'd be interested? What's, What's in it for us? us? Let's talk. Let's get you out of here. Alright, so all I need you to do, just go kill Banquo and his son. How you do it, I don't care, as long as it's done. Man, we do this almost every day. We'll just make it look like an accident. Better not be no problem, man. There will. Dude, I swear Banquo's stuff isn't even good. Son of a... <laughs> it's the same... I gotta murder that man! Go, Lady Macbeth. <laughs> you made it known to us. No, that was your line. You <laughs> 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 made it known to us. I did so. In fact, <laughs> you. Oh. It's. <laughs> 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 In your bot bosoms. Yes, in your bot bosoms. Wh whose executions takes your enemies off. Grapples you to the heart and love of us who wear our health but sickly <laughs> in his nature. <laughs>